So brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what does He call us to do? He says to you, connect with me so that you can feel amazing. The moment that you woke up in the morning and right now that you are breathing, the fact that you're breathing means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still has use for you in this world. And you have a purpose and an importance in this world. You are needed or someone needs you or Allah has seen something good in you that He wants your goodness to continue or He's giving you time to repent and to return. Whatever it is, assume well of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. I am Hassan Jolai and thank you so much for clicking to this video. I am back with another waking up at 4 a.m. early in the morning for a week type of video. Um, I do have one very similar to this one except that one is waking up at 5 a.m. This one will be around like 4, 4.30 a.m. in the morning because it's a summer morning so if you're a Muslim you definitely know that during summer you have to wake up super early in the morning in order to perform the morning prayer and lately I've been struggling with that I feel super guilty therefore this week I'm challenging myself to wake up for Fajr which is the morning prayer every day and perform it inshallah and obviously make it a habit I just pray <laughs> um, I just prayed the Isha and it's 11.44 which is actually normal because um, in summer the biggest problems for us Muslim is that which is actually not a problem it's kind of blessing the tougher it is the closer you get to your creator um, so this one is a tough one basically we pray five times a day and the first one is the morning prayer and the last one is the night prayer and during summer since the days are longer and the nights are shorter the night prayer is around like 10 30 uh, sometimes it is like around 10 45 almost 11 p.m. Um, so you have to stay awake until that time in order to pray the night prayer like perform the night prayer and then the morning prayer is around like 4 4 30 and at 5 22 I think oh it's 5 28 the sun rises and you have to pray the morning prayer before the sunrise so that's like how many hours of sleep if we perform the night prayer right on time like let's say the prayer calls at uh, 10 35 p.m. and you start praying it at 10 35 and then go to bed at 10 40 that will be that will be like six hours of sleep until the morning prayer until you wake up for the morning prayer but let's say you delayed the night prayer and you did not perform it right on time because you're busy or you're procrastinating or something you know because that can happen it's summer nights and uh, you don't want to sleep early you know <laughs> um, uh, and let's say you prayed it around like 11 30 sometimes even 12 a.m. in the morning then you only get to sleep for like four to like five hours which is obviously not enough during summer days but just like I said earlier if it gets tougher it means it's a blessing because you get closer to your creator and you uh, get more rewarded and that's what we want as Muslims anyways I should sleep ASAP or else I don't think I will be able to wake up tomorrow morning um, I'm not expecting myself to wake up right at 4 a.m tomorrow because it's just like the first day tomorrow is Monday by the way uh, but I will at least try my best to wake up until like 5 all right so Welcome to the challenge. Oh, and also, this is the first episode of Dean and Dunya series. I am so excited for this series. This series is full about developing ourselves, improving ourselves, not only in dunya-wise, but also in dean-wise as well. So, welcome. I'm very excited. And good night. I'm going to go to bed right now.
<laughs> it is almost 7 p.m. and I have so much to talk about right now like the fact that this week started off unproductive and this video started off unproductive is gonna kill me but no problem anyway so this morning I actually got up at 4 30 as you guys saw and I was feeling quite awake, but I don't know what happened. I literally fell asleep while I was listening to the Aldan, the Fajr prayer, the Fajr Aldan. Um, you know, I turned off my alarm and you guys saw it. I filmed it. And then right after the alarm went off, the Aldan also called, like started calling. And I was like, oh, that this is like so peaceful. I got up at the perfect time. Let me just listen to the Aldan a little bit. And then boom. I literally fell asleep and I got up around like 5.20 because of my mom. She came and she was like, Hasna, get up, did you pray Fajr? I was like, oh my God, what? What's going on? I, I checked the time and it was 5.20 something. And I started freaking out first because my goal for this week was to wake up early and pray Fajr on time, not like a little late. Second of all, I'm vlogging, like I'm filming a video, you know, and it's, it's not just any video, it's about me waking up early in the morning. And then I was like, actually, you know what? I want this video to be realistic. And the first day is always the hardest one. It's the most difficult one. And this is, I feel like, the most realistic one I've ever filmed. Uh, realistic morning I've ever filmed. Guys, in summer, waking up at Fajr is the hardest. And as you guys saw, it's hard for me as well. Um, and then, anyways, I got up at 5.20 something. I quickly prayed to Fajr because there were only like a couple of minutes left until the sunrise. So I prayed to Fajr, I did my morning istighfar, and I even um, read Quran until 6. And I also filmed that as well. But then after reading the Quran, my body was so freaking sore, I could not... I just couldn't get out of the bed and start my day, I fell asleep once again. And the reason why my body was so freaking sore, and it's like still very sore, is because this girl, you guys, yesterday, which was Sunday, yesterday morning, I did one of the most intense cardios ever, without any warm-up, without anything. After like months and months later, I did at-home workout. I could have started with something beginner-friendly, but I directly jumped into this cardio video that was 20 minutes long, but it was like intense. The workout was torture. After the workout, I was feeling so freaking bad. My body started hurting and stuff. And then today, obviously, I actually uh, faced with the results of yesterday's workout. My body was feeling really bad. Um, it's still like my hands and then my legs, they're hurting so freaking bad. Anyway, so the first day of this challenge, this waking up at Fajr for a week straight and turning into a habit challenge, um, started off a little unproductive, but no problem, you guys. Um, we're trying our best. I'm trying my best. And I feel like this is actually low-key a good start, a very realistic start. You know, you, the first day, again, is always the hardest. But inshallah, tomorrow it won't be like that. Anyways, see you guys tomorrow morning, inshallah.
and this will make me feel way better inshallah so it is right now 11 30 a.m in the morning and you guys today i got up at 5 which is still a process because yesterday it was like 5 20 something almost 5 30 but today it's alhamdulillah 5 and tomorrow we will make it 4 30 inshallah and with like that it will slowly come towards 4 a.m inshallah no problem we're taking it one step at a time and that's okay um i actually just took a nap <laughs> um because i was just i was about to die you guys after shower i had breakfast with my mom and around like 9 30 no pardon me yeah until 10 i was in the kitchen we had breakfast i cleaned the kitchen and all and after that so like after 10 a.m i came to the living room and our couch is very comfortable sometimes i love to just like nap on my couch it is comfier than my bed in my opinion i just lied on the couch was scrolling through tiktok and then my eyes suddenly got so freaking heavy i was like you know what i have to take a nap or else i will not survive today <laughs> so i took an hour and a half of nap you guys like i feel incredibly energized um i also made myself iced coffee which will make me feel way better because the weather right now is like 30 something degrees celsius and it's hot basically now i'm gonna do some quran journaling and then I'm just gonna move on with my day so this was day two it was tuesday managed to wake up for fajr and did not sleep after it alhamdulillah see you guys tomorrow morning inshallah bye hello from the next day today is thursday it is the fourth day of the challenge and i couldn't wake up at 4 a.m today yay what a success honestly i am so mad at myself today like i don't ugh. i went to bed late last night because i just could not sleep like i don't know why i couldn't sleep and <laughs> the funny thing is um I feel like one of the reasons why I couldn't sleep was I watched something a little bit scary last night on TikTok um, and maybe that had an influence, I don't know, but that was just like a reason and there were like some other reasons I was overthinking, I felt a little anxious as well, um, so like all together my sleep just went away and I was just like lying down on my bed, my eyes on the roof and just thinking, you know, thinking and thinking and thinking and with that I fell asleep around like almost 1 a.m. so obviously I could not wake up at 4 and I am so mad at myself like I literally, ugh, I hate it when I cannot like you know wake up early like i i'm a morning person so if i do not wake up early i've like that day my mood will just it's not gonna be good anyways right now it is 1 20 p.m i got up around like 9 a.m as soon as i got up i prayed my missed fajr um so may Allah accept that and forgive me but i feel like this video is 
very realistic one on my channel because you know th this is summer you know as as a muslim i honestly do really really struggle in summer and i feel like the more you struggle as long as like your intention is to you know become closer to allah as long as you struggle allah will make that easy for you and will count that struggle as uh, a good deed inshallah like that's how i see allah and allah himself says i am as my servant thinks of me so i see him like that um may he accept my struggles and my efforts honestly summer is really difficult um it's not my favorite season you guys it's my least favorite season i don't like summer but um yeah it's it's okay you know sometimes we can't wake up early enough for fajr but as long as we intend to do our best to pray on time, to wake up for Fajr, Allah will make it easy for us as well. Um, but I'm still so freaking mad at myself. Anyways, um, I might go to my sister tonight. I might stay uh, there, which means um, I will not be in my room, which means it will be a little difficult for me to wake up early tomorrow. Because whenever I go to my sister's, we end up watching a movie and then we sleep late. But doesn't matter where I am, the intention is to pray on time, inshallah. So we'll see that tomorrow morning. But yeah, I hope so far you're enjoying this video. I honestly do not know what the heck is going on. Uh, but this is the reality of summer mornings, right? As like for Muslims, for us. So yes, see you guys tomorrow morning, inshallah, at 4 a.m., inshallah. <laughs>